What's going on everybody? Just want to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the button on the bottom left corner. Bring you right to my page so you can subscribe. If you want to support my channel, please check out the top right hand corner. And today I want to talk about my auto top off system and why it's so important. I have a 180 gallon tank and a 40 um, gallon breeder sump has probably about 15 to 20 gallons in it and it's very important to run an auto top off system the five gallon I was using five gallons of water every two days so when you think about five gallons of water that really fluctuates your salinity levels because when water evaporates the salt stays behind right so it's very important to keep the levels safe and that will happen with your auto top off system and this is the one that I decided to use it's the JBJ auto top off or ATO it comes with two sensors and a pump and you place one sensor in your water reservoir and one sensor on the side of your sump I had to cut out a little notch here for the first sensor uh, for the sump so that way when the water level drops below it puts a little bit of water in your tank so versus five gallons at a time it will put you know uh, maybe a cup or two of water at a time and it actually uh, is about to go off I, I believe so kind of see the water volume that is being put in there um, when it when it does go off I do have this only in here kind of temporarily. I'm going to about to change this whole setup and I'll, I'll make a, a update video when I do so. But you can kind of see that fresh water is going into the reservoir section because you want your protein skimmer to continue having that water, that salt water. If it hits a fresh water, um, you know, pocket, it's not going to produce the skim aid. It's going to kind of cease that for a short period of time. This is my water reservoir. I'm glad that I made this video because I actually haven't looked in here like this before and it does look pretty dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. But that's the second sensor in the pump. And that second sensor, when the water drops below, turns the pump off. So you don't have to worry about burning your pump out. I chose to use a Rubbermaid uh, eight gallon um, reservoir because Rubbermaid's a better brand to use. Doesn't leach chemicals into your water as well as um, that was the space that I had so I decided to remove two drawers that I had in my my stand and I'm going to utilize this space for a bigger reservoir the base of it's about 18 by 18 and then I think I can go about 20 inches high so I'm hoping to find a reservoir that will fit that and that will be uh, more than 20 gallons so I'm pretty excited thanks for watching